In this video, we're going to be showing the gun and ammo reloader wanting to weigh powder to a colonel that they need to purchase an analytical balance, which is behind the RCBS 1010 mechanical beam balance. So on an analytical balance, this particular analytical measures to 0.002 grains per division. That's equivalent to two thousandths of a grain. Now, in the front here, we have the standard RCBS 1010 mechanical beam balance. And on this beam balance, you have graduations. The poise here is in graduations of 10 grains. So each graduation here is 10 grains. So if we set it to 100, that's for 100 grains. And on the right hand side, we have the um, cylindrical micro poise, this round poise here. And all you gun and ammo guys know how to use this. If it rotates a complete 360 degrees, that would come out to one grain. So this micro poise gives you a tenth of a grain. So one sets up your mechanical RCBS by putting the poise all the way over to the zero, making sure your micro poise is on zero. And we want to make sure the balance is level. And it oscillates up and down. You can see with a mechanical um, RCBS, you know, it's a little time consuming. So now we're going to just lift elevate it so our pointer is level right there in the center so what we want to show you today is we have this is an Omega 2 power trickler from Dandy products and what we're going to do is we're going to drop one kernel at a time into the, uh, the weight container and we'll see if the poise actually moves so what we're going to do is we're using the Omega trickler. We have two buttons here. The black is for slow. The red is for fast. Since we're going to be dropping one kernel at a time, we'll be pressing the black button. And so if we're able to focus on the zero point on the end of the um, beam and also at the same time the Omega trickler, we're going to drop one kernel at a time. So there's one kernel. And there's no movement at all. There's two kernels. There's no movement at all. There's three kernels. And there's still no movement at all. Four kernels. Maybe we just saw it go up a little bit. Five kernels. Six kernels. So it's somewhat hard to see. It depends upon the angle that you're actually looking at the pointer. But what we want to just show you is the mechanical RCBS is a dinosaur in today's reloading. If you're a bench rush shooter and you're shooting at 1,000 yards, all your competitors are using analytical balances so that they know every single charge is to a kernel. So you could only be, you're only able to drop one kernel at a time using this Omega trickler. And so now what I'd like to do is I want to show you what most bench rush shooters are now using and that is the Satorius analytical balance so we'll move this forwards and this balance is all set up it's already leveled and we're just going to raise up this power trickler And so, once again, this is the Satorius Entrance Series. So, this Satorius Entrance 64-1S increments in 0 0.002 grains. Um, that's not the accuracy. That's the readability or the graduations. So, readability is just what the display shows. 
Linearity is the word you want to look at. You have to dig into the specifications, and the linearity on this particular balance is plus or minus two divisions. So if it increments in 0 0.002 grains, the linearity of it is going to be plus or minus 0 0.004 grains. Now that's in the best case scenario. That's the manufacturer doing the testing. They're doing it in a humidity controlled, climate controlled area. Uh, no static electricity, no radio interference. So it's perfectly stable environment. And you really can't expect that. Like in this video right now, we have a lot of lights so that we um, are able to make this video. So it's, it's uh, very colorful. And there's, there's some noise going on. So best case scenario we like to tell people is the most you can really get out of the balance is probably four divisions with an analytical. We're using um, Hodgkin's 4350. That's the Hodgkin 4350. And each kernel we've determined weighs between 0 0.020 and 0 0.030 grains per kernel. So each kernel uh, does have a variation in weight. With the entrance 64, uh, we always like to say have the balance warm up for at least a half hour. Make sure the balance is perfectly level. And uh, we can now use this Omega Tricular. Most gun and ammo guys, again, they would use a thrower and they would throw on a charge. We'll say approximately here we got close to uh, 70 grains. So that's our goal. So we'll use the Omega Tricular. And again, we'll just use the black button here and we'll be able to drop one kernel at a time and you'll see the balance is able to pick it up so so the kernels are just starting to come out and here we go we're going to drop one kernel and you'll see here the balance picks it up no problem and we're going to drop one more kernel on the balance Okay, and so each kernel is approximately anywhere from 0 0.020 to 0 0.030. So one more kernel here will bring us right to that 70 target. And we just drop the other kernel. And there you have it. So we're just, again, trying to show you if you're a bench rest shooter and you want to do every charge to a kernel, you really have to go with an analytical balance that reads to 0 0.002 grains. We made other videos showing a milligram balance, and a milligram balance would be 10 times less accurate. So therefore, instead of having 0 0.002 grains, you'd only have 0 0.020 grains. When you factor in, looking at the linearity of three divisions or two divisions, there's no way that you can get it to a kernel knowing that a kernel weighs between 0 0.020 and 0 0.030 grains. So this video is, uh, again, where precision weighing balances, you can pick up this uh, entrance 64-1S, uh, and on the Omega Power Trickler, these are available from Danny Products, and you can visit OmegaPowerTrickler.com.